manufacturers left this. There's no such thing. It's like having a crash in a big building that will collapse. I mean, there is no such thing as a small airline fracture. The problem here, like the T-Cap files with both ends, he's had surgery both ends, and his, his longevity is in risk in the league. Not, sh not short term, but longer term. The only place you can get away with bad hips, though, is going to be a center. And so I think, uh, I don't know what the injury is, because I don't know what they mean by a small hairline fracture. He was getting another opinion. I think it's probably not a fracture, because they never let him play with that. They put him out on the injury reserve. So I'm having some misinformation. My guess is he'll be back in a week or so with a bad hip. All right, um, Des Bryant uh, back. It sounds like this morning he's going to try and play. They got him with a back injury. It's, uh, the, what we're hearing this morning is they, where he's most likely to go now, but he continues to have this back injury. Yeah, you know, um, he evidently had something happen midweek, but the guys who are on the beat who are, you know, writing reports said they saw him in the locker room moving around fine. I don't think it's a big, I don't think it's a big issue. I think, I don't know why they put him on the list. Uh, I think he'll probably play. All right, Deshaun Jackson, again, uh, he's a guy that, who sits out a lot. He's got the shoulder. Big game tonight against the Packers. They're listing him again as game time. But, you know, he, he does not come back quickly from these injuries, and he's been with the shoulder for a couple of weeks now. So this is a different type of injury, as we talked about uh, the other fellow, Matt Bell, and that is his shoulder shut down due to pain. We call it pseudo paralysis, which means the arm will go. Looks like it's paralyzed. As soon as he regains strength, he can play. He, he had no structural injury to his rotator cuff, so I expect him to probably play. Uh, you know, you said Macklin should sit again. He's, uh, they just announced he's sitting again today. We put him on a list. He's key for the, for the Chiefs. But uh, you said they should sit him last week and this week. They are sitting him again with the groin. Probably with their wins, probably a smart move to give him another week, right? Absolutely. As we've talked about many times, these things recur. He's a highly skilled position, and they should keep him out until he's 100%, and that can take four to six weeks. And DeAndre, uh, DeAndre Levy, key guy for the Lions. Now, they got two games in four, in four days. They're going to sit him today and try to get him back for the Thanksgiving game, which is a division game against the Vikings. Uh, how about him? Because he's a key guy for the Lions. I know, Mike. You know, he's been out last year with hip surgery, then he had a quad injury, a knee injury, then a quad injury, now another knee injury. I don't know what the knee injuries are, so I can't give you an assessment of what to expect because there's no information, no MRI information or other things. Would you be uh, comfortable with a guy like that playing twice in five days? Probably not, right? I mean, you know, playing th today and then playing Thursday is going to be tough, right? You bring up a great point, Mike. A lot of these guys are deconditioned, and that's when they can get other injuries, and that happens so often. You know, guys come to back focus on a one injury. He's defensive out there playing. He's not in as good shape as he was. He'll hurt something else. I think you're 100% right. They're better off waiting until he's 100%, and he can get in a regular sequence. If you had iffy guys, Doc, and you're their orthopedic surgeon, and they got a game today and an even bigger game Thursday, is the idea usually uh, that you don't want to try and go to two games in, in, in five days when you go, oh, rather than so take off the easier game or take off the game that's less consequential, like an AFC game today, and then they got a, a division game on, uh, on, on Thanksgiving Day? Uh, do, you, do you make decisions based on that, or you just play today and worry about Thursday, Thursday? I think it's a chronological thing, Mike. I think he's going to be in better shape to be the type of performer he is on Thursday rather than today. And I think that should be the decision. You want to put him out there with the best chance to succeed. Uh, you know, if the Super Bowl is no next game, I guess you could consider it. But uh, I think that the smarter thing is to just do what's right for the athlete and wait until they're in a better position to defend themselves. I'll never forget, like, one time we had a guy in his MC on the first half, right? So we're all worried about that. We put him in break. He goes out on the first play, second half, and carries his AC on the other day. So the other thing is, you know, you get an athlete back there that's distracted by things that are going to happen. You're better off waiting until they're stronger and, you know, in the best position to succeed.
and they did have some, they had, they had something where they had a bunch of naked guys running through the stands or something like that during the game, or something they were doing up there that happened during the game. I don't know, dancing on a wall or some craziness that was going on there. Back after this. Visit the Joseph Abood flagship store.